All right, here we are in the airport, just pulling in. And this is where we go to pick up fish. Alright, so we got our fish on board and we're heading out now back out to the farm where we're going to be acclimatising the fish. Once we acclimatise those fish, we'll put them in the main tank. G'day folks, we've arrived back from the airport, so in, in your case you'd be arriving home, wherever that might be, in Victoria, New South Wales, wherever. You've received your box of fish at the airport, as you saw, we picked up before. You've travelled home, you're home now, and now you're going to unpack those fish. So I'm going to show you the proper way to unpack fish, particularly if they've been travelling for some fair way, say six to eight hours or something like that by airport. And uh, in most cases when we sent to Victoria, it's same day in New South Wales. But uh, in case it goes by road to, say, uh, Perth or something, it could be a couple of days, so um, we really need to unpack them carefully there and you need to let us know if there are extended periods of time. So anyway, let's have a look how we unpack these fish. So we receive our boxes, in this case you can receive your box. As you can see we've, we've uh, put plenty of tape on there so it stops the box coming up back. And we're just going to pop this seal in there. Just using a bit of cutter there, you can cut that off and just pull that back. Now what you have to remember is that when you open these boxes is that some of these boxes have been hard for quite some time. Which means that we don't want to stress these fish out any more than what they're already going to be stressed out in. So what we want to do is just open the box a little bit with the bit. Just a little tiny bit. Just to let a little bit of light in, just so that these guys know that there's going to be a bright light coming on a light source coming pretty soon. So we've got that one there, just going okay, nicely. We'll undo another one there, just so you can... So we've opened this already a little bit, we'll open that a little bit more. And uh, what we'll do now is we'll come and have a look inside the box. So we're just going to lift the lid gently here, and if you come and have a look inside, you'll see those fish inside there nicely, just gently swimming around, and that's how you should get your fish in the box, and just pull this back. And we always put two bags in when we travel by air, and that's important because if we get a burst, we don't want water in the plane, and in the bottom of these bags you'll also find that we've got a thermo pack. As I was saying before, we have these internal liners, but here's the thermal absorbent pad that's inside here. So if we get any water spillage, this will swell up and absorb the water so it doesn't go into the aeroplane. These are the industry boxes that we use. So you'll find a pad in there, you'll find another liner and you'll find the bag in there as well. Let's uh, just open another box so you can see that one again. So I've done this one already so you cut the tape and pull that off. All we're going to do is just open that gently just to let that light in as we suggested before to you and uh, that's going to now let that light in there. Now another thing that you'll find in the box when you receive the packages from us is a certificate. Now, 
the certificate here is an important piece of paper. The certificate gives you the ownership of these fish, that is that they are a certified protected species. In other words, when you buy fish from one aquaponics from us, wherever you are in the country or in, in the state of South Australia, you receive the certificate with it. This has our farm number on there, which is our certification with Prime Industries Resources South Australia. It also tells them, this certificate tells them what the species is, the size of the species when you bought them, how much, the name of the person who bought them, etc. So you want to keep this piece of paper in a safe place because if a fisheries officer says to you, where did you get these fish from? You can say, I got them from number one aquaponics, they're certified and I've got their certification paper here in my file, I'll just go and get it for you. And that'll cover you from them saying, look, uh, you haven't got proof of these fish, you might have got them from the wild, you might have got them from a lake with a, a, a gene pool, a wild gene pool, you haven't got proof of ownership, uh, you might have to destroy these fish. So this will give you that proof so that you don't have any problem. This doesn't give you the right though to sell the fish, but it gives you the right to hold the fish as your hobbyist uh, aquaponic system. Or on the back of here, you find the climatisation instructions. Now, we're going through that uh, verbally now and uh, on video, but this is an instructional list here that you can read that while you're waiting, in case you haven't got time to watch the video again. You can actually read through that and, uh, and just follow those procedures, particularly if you're unpacking fish from six to eight hours away, say we're sending over to New South Wales or to Victoria or Tasmania or something. So, certificate and acclimatisation. So that's an important piece of paper which you will find inside the box when you receive the product. As you can see the fish swim around quite nicely in there. So we're going to take these fish out of the bag and we're going to put them into the tank and then we'll come back to these other boxes and we'll go through those again. Alright, so we put the bag into the cage or into the tank or into our aquaponic tank, whatever we're using. In this case it's a cage because we're going to be moving fish around. And we want to check the water temperature. So in this case, let's have a look what the temperature is here. It's 27 degrees and the bag temperature at the moment, the example you'll receive, that's at 25 degrees. So we're going to do a slight water exchange just so these fish can, can acclimatise a little bit better. Just get that fish out of there. Is, sitting in there. There we go. And we'll get the other bags in here and then we'll start degassing so you can see how we do that process as well. Alright, so I just want to check that water temperature again. So that one's uh, 27 degrees. These ones now are 27.5 degrees. Alright, so there's only a little bit of difference which is fine. So what we're going to do now is use another tool that's this jug here, we're going to fill some water in, so this is measured up to 5 litres, we're not going to put that much in, there's only about 10 litres in the bag to include. About a litre we're going to put in at the moment. Now you can also do this into the foam box if you haven't got, like for example, if you haven't got uh, a tank or something like that that you can go straight into, like the luxury we've got here that we work with. But uh, what you can do is uh, you can go straight into that foam box, so you unpack the fish now into the foam box and you'll be adding some of your water into the water in your phone box. So that's one way of doing it if you're having a luxury like this so you can move around quite easily. So we just open the bag, we're going to take about a litre of water, oxygenated water, about a litre there. Just going to pour that in. It's going to do a couple of things and I'll explain that to you. Then we're going to take this air stone, the fine bubble as you can see, you can see they're bubbling away. So this air stone, we're going to pop that in through the tank inside that bag there. Now we're going to grab another air stone, I'll just grab that one over there, and we're going to pop that into another bag here, we're going to repeat the process. Now the reason we put water in is because we've got a highly oxygenated environment that the fish are travelling in for quite a number of hours, and the, CO2 is going to, and the CO2 is going to build up inside the bag, and the fish are going to absorb that CO2 into their bloodstream. When we remove the oxygen out of the bag, the CO2 that's in the bloodstream remains in there, and the air uh, that was in there, that pure oxygen that was in there, is now gone, and it means that the fish can end up with what called brown blood, or, or like the bangs as a dog would get. So it's very important that when we open a bag, 
that we're ready to, to work with the fish straight away. We now put a air stain into that bag to keep it highly aerated and uh, to allow the degas and CO2 to slowly precipitate out of that system there. And we also add some of the water in just so the pH can stabilise as well as so we can also introduce the smells and now the chemistry that's in the water there with the fish water and acclimatise it to the environment. Just make it as stressed less as possible for these fish and you find that you have no mortality. Another way we could do it if we had, say, 24 hour travel, if we were travelling uh, internationally, is we would empty the bag of air, regas it straight away. So empty a lot of the water out, put new water, regas it straight away so the fish can get that CO2 out of their bloodstream. It's very important. But in this case, we just have to do the procedures that we're doing now. Follow those instructions that we talked about before. So let's do another bag and then uh, we'll come back to it later once we've done the other bags and we'll show you how we start adding some more water and releasing fish. Alright, so the bag's been in for a little while. We've, we've put some water in. I've just put a little bit more water in now, so they've got about two and a half litres in there. I'm just going to take some of the fish out and inspect them. So that's the important thing to do. So with a net like this, of course, it makes it very easy. I want to grab a couple. Sometimes it's not so easy to grab a couple because there's quite a few in there. But uh, yeah, about 10 or so fish. I'm just bring it over here where the water's oxygenated. And just so we can have a look at those. We can have a look at those fish there. So these are, you get them at about 40, 50 mil like this. That's a good size to start, about 1.5, 2 grams each. So I'm just looking at them there. All the fins look good. There's no rotting on the fins or anything. There's no um, damage to the fish whatsoever, so they're looking very good. So, as you would say, okay, I'm going to release those. So in this case here, I'm just going to put these few fish into the tank here. And then we're going to go and put the rest of those fish in there. So put the fish in there. Right, so we're going to release the rest of the fish. So in this case, we're going to turn the bag over. We're not just going to throw them out, we're going to let them gently swim out. So in this case, we just lift the bag up, turn the bag over, just like that, and let the fish come out, out the other end. So you can see the pouring out at the end there. There we go. So now they've come in out of the ponds, and we've brought these fish inside now. And then we'll fatten them up, wean them over, make sure they're properly weaned completely. And then we'll start sending those fish out to folk like yourself. Just like that, just slowly lift the bag. Let those fish pour out and out the other end. And just make sure there's no fish. All right, folks, so that's how we do it. That's how we release the fish and acclimatise. Whether it's in the tank or whether it's in the pond, we go about it the same method. So, until next time, enjoy your aquaculture activities and good luck with aquaponics. See you next time.